oversimplified logos aren't that bad, but... Look what they have done to Pringles. Look. Hey Loco Dix, how you doing? It's me, Ilham. So recently there's this trend you known as minimalistic logos or oversimplified logos. Nowadays companies change their logos to a more minimalistic look, but in some cases they don't need changing in the first place. For example, the new Facebook icon doesn't really change anything other than the shape from a square to a circle. But wait! The more is this atrocious piece of shit that horrified everyone. Just look at it. This does not make me want to buy a Pringles. If they did the same shit to Ronald McDonald, I never eat McDonald's ever again. Now let's look at Mastercard. Their logo was rememberable and wasn't flashy to begin with. It's basically two circles forming a sort of Venn diagramic. Um, I don't know how to explain that with stripes on that thing and the text, the company's name is uh, slapped on the symbol. And look at the current logo. Look at it. Bro, anyone can make this logo, even three-year-olds can. Now, I'm not going to cover the new Firefox logo because this does not belong to the browser. It belongs to the brand which owns the browser, Firefox. But in some cases, basic logos can be replaced with elegant ones. Really? Yup. If you look at the old logo of GTV in Bangladesh, you'll know what I mean. Look at it, it's utterly basic. Thankfully, they've got rid of it and replaced it with a better one. Not just the United States, the oversimplification trend is everywhere. Just like the previous example. Now let's go to Germany's Volkswagen. Their logo was rememberable and nothing was wrong with it. Nothing! And look at what they've did to it. Cue the words of the angry video game nerd. What were they thinking? It's like they drew it on paper and then called it a day. So that's it for this video. If you have more logos for me to see, then make sure to comment it below. And I'm going to fucking Mars because this planet is horrible. <laughs>